Hello Dreamers, in today's video I want to show you why we shouldn't throw away the old plastic tanks. Here's an idea from me, crash from Dream About Anything. I start with a medium sized 20 liters tank. I choose a whole saw 50 millimeters. You will find out why later in the video. I will make holes on the both sides of the tank. I'm not looking for the exact center, just that the two holes are upside each other. First I make a pilot hole, then I continue with the hollow saw. This is no longer count as a tank, but it will still be useful to me. This is where my power extension cord sits, now one of them will go into the tank. I'm thinking of using the black one. First I have to take apart the plug and then the electric outlet, so I can thread the cable into the tank. The extension cord I choose is about 15 meters long. In the beginning I use a 50mm hole saw, because I have such a tube of hand. I cut the tube so that it goes through both walls of the tank. I drill a hole in the tube and on the cap for the cable to go through. The tube will act as an axis of the reel. I rivet two L-shaped planks to the tube. Tower these two planks, I will install the socket. The electric outlet is already disassembled and I drill additional holes in it. I place the rivets in a way so they do not interfere with the operation of the contact. This means they should not lead against metal parts or prevent the plug from being inserted. It turned it out perfectly. It's remained to connect the cable back, being careful not to confuse their places. I don't feel like changing fuses for being careless. I know it's annoying, but I have to ask you, 
to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't be like the 80% who only watch whatever YouTube randomly pick for them. Now that I have everything assembled, it's time to roll the roll. But I'm missing something to spin the tube with. With materials on hand from the workshop, I will need to make some kind of handle. This little PPR pipe will come in handy. I make a passage channel in the tube for the pipe to pass through. I have also prepared a piece of tube to stop the handle from being pulled out. With hot air, I bend the pipe 90 degrees to resemble a handle. I cut the excess length so that it's convenient to work and fold. I glue the stopper to the tube with PVC glue. Done this way, the only bad thing is that I need to get the cable out, I have to break the handle. I quick clean up and it's time for the first test. If you like this extension called housing, give the video a like. It works perfectly and it's now portable. My extension tube is ready. It will definitely become my favorite extender. I also plan to draw arrows for retracting and unwinding the cable. For maximum compactness the handle is foldable. Here is a small demonstration. I push it in and the light comes on. The one you saw is another DIY project of mine. I'm leaving a link in the top corner. That was all from me, Dreamers. I'm Crash from Dream About Anything. See you again in the next video.